Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and I'm here to help you prepare for your U.S. naturalization interview. Today, I'm going to go over the 100 civics questions from the U.S. naturalization interview. I have put them in random order and I'll give you the simplest answer to remember. Are you ready? Let's do it. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. Pretty straightforward. Sets up the government. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two years. And a trick to remember is it's two, four, six. So two years for the House of Representatives, four years for the President, and six years for the Senator. Who was President during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. And many of you gave me this tip to remember this. Woodrow Wilson, WW, is the same as World War I. So that helps you remember it. So thank you for that tip. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. Communism. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. Democratic. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. So remember that. Two, four, six. Six are the senders. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for women's rights. She fought for women's rights. And since she's a woman, it's pretty easy to remember. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War One. World War One. It could be World War II as well, but I think the one is the easiest to remember. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Like judges, they review laws. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day and Christmas, my favorite. So, New Year's Day and Christmas. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Hopefully you know this one. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Do you know? Because there are 50 states. Because there are 50 states.
What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Everybody wants freedom. Freedom. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. John Roberts. Who was the first president? George Washington. He's in several of these questions. George Washington, the first president. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. We the people. And I picture the Constitution and I can see those words. Who is the governor of your state now? This answer will vary depending on your state. So make sure you look it up and we have some links in the description to help you. Okay. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. To print money. What are two cabinet level positions? Attorney General and Vice President. Attorney General and Vice President. And you can kind of picture them around the president in a meeting. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. The Constitution. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, one of our founding fathers. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. July 4th, 1776. And how I remember that is that is Independence Day, the 4th of July in 1776. <laughs> Who makes federal laws? Congress. Congress. Are you good with numbers? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. There's a lot of them. 435. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. 18 and older. 
Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Slavery. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. And be careful with the pronunciation. It's Kamala. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. Do you live on the East Coast? Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Italy, and Germany. Japan, Italy, and Germany. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean. And that's my coast. Yay! Yay for California. <laughs> What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. Market economy. And don't confuse that with our form of government, which is a republic. How many U.S. senators are there? 100. We have 50 states and two senators for each state. So, 100 senators. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. New York Harbor. Have you ever been? I was there a long time ago. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. Native Americans. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To give a driver's license. To give a driver's license. And if you think about it, when you look on your driver's license, there's a state on there because they issue the driver's license. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. The president. And you can picture the president signing the bills on their desk. What is one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. And that was through the Emancipation Proclamation. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. The easiest one to say 
is John J. John J. But if you know of Alexander Hamilton, he was also one of the writers. So you can use that one too. All right, let's take a little break. How are you doing? How many have you gotten right so far? Are you at 100%? <laughs> take a little drink. Feel free to join me. Get a snack, a drink, whatever you need. And I wanted to let you know that we also offer live mock interviews on our website if you need some extra help preparing for the big day. So I'll leave the, the link in the description. So make sure to check that out. Okay, get comfy. Find where I was here. All right. Who vetoes bills? The president. The president. And again, you can picture the president on their desk vetoing the bill. When was the Constitution written? 1787. 1787. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Nine. And remember, it needs to be an odd number so that the decision can be made. So nine it is. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. The United States. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. A change to the Constitution. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Name one branch or part of the government. Easiest one, the president. The president. Okay, this is a tricky one. Name your U.S. representative. Do you know? It will vary depending on your address. We'll have some links in the description, but make sure you look that up and it's the correct one. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. Because they have more people. It's based on the population. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. California. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. New York. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner. 
We elect a president for how many years? Four. Four. And remember, two, four, six. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It announced our independence from Great Britain. It announced our independence from Great Britain. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Movement. And don't get that confused with the Civil War. Mm -mm. The Civil Rights Movement. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. You're free to choose. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Because of high taxes. Nobody likes taxes. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Any citizen can vote. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. July 4th. Love that holiday. Fireworks and barbecues. What is the rule of law? Everybody must follow the law. Pretty straightforward. Everybody must follow the law. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Democratic and Republican. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All the people of the state. All the people of the state. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. World War II. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? It freed the slaves. It freed the slaves. What do we call the first 10 amendments of the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. When must all men register for the selective service? 
at age 18. At age 18. So it's the same age that you're eligible to vote. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Pretty easy. Advises the president. Picture them all around a big table. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He fought for civil rights. He fought for civil rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Speech. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Louisiana. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Freedom of speech and freedom of religion. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Have you ever been there? It's a pretty cool place to be. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. I know it's been kind of weird the past few years, but it's April 15th. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To vote in a federal election. To vote in a federal election. All right, let's take a little break. We're almost done. Congratulations for getting this far. How are you doing? Are you getting most of them right? Are you learning something? That's my goal, of course. If you like this video and my channel, please give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get back and finish this up. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. The Civil War. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 27. And if you have a trick to remember that, please leave it in the comments and let me know. I can't think of a good trick to remember 27. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. The president. Who is the father of our country? Do you know that one? George Washington, our first president. George Washington. 
Name one right that is only for United States citizens. To vote in a federal election. To vote in a federal election. And once you became a citizen, then it is your right and your responsibility to vote in a federal election. That's why that's mentioned twice in the questions. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. The Civil War. Now remember, that was in the 1800s. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Mississippi River. The Mississippi River. Mississippi, can you say it? <laughs> I think it's fun to say and to spell. It's very long. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. Two L's. Life and liberty. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. Crow. What is the capital of your state? Do you know? Make sure to look it up and check our link in the description if you need help. What are two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate and the House of Representatives. There were 13 original states. Name three. New York, New Jersey, and New Hampshire. New York, New Jersey, and New Hampshire. I think the ones with the new are the easiest to remember. In what month do we vote for president? November. November. It's always the same month as Thanksgiving. <laughs> Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. It's a big tourist destination. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. The president. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Africans. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? I'll give you a clue. It's in the question. <laughs> the Constitution was written. The Constitution was written. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? 
because there were 13 original colonies. Because there were 13 original colonies. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To be loyal to the United States. To be loyal to the United States. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. The vice president. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? From my feedback, you guys tend to like the answer, checks and balances. Checks and balances. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. A U.S. diplomat. What major event happened on September 11th, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Terrorists attacked the United States. What is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Do you know? You'll need to look it up if not, and we'll put a link in the description. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? They can vote and they can run for office. They can vote and they can run for office. All right, well that completes the official 100 civics questions. I have one more bonus question for you. Let's see if you know this one. What is the form of government of the United States? You know, it is a republic. Republic. And you never know, the officer could ask you that during the interview. So now you will know. All right, that's it for today. Good luck studying. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out these videos and I will see you next time. Bye.